everyone welcome to my channel I'm fairly new to this so excuse my horrible lighting excuse my horrible filming excuse anything that's really wrong with the video anyways today's video is gonna be on my shoe collection uh, basically just the gym shoes I do have like heels and other shit but I'm gonna show that in a later video um <clears throat> anyways I'm glowing today check it out um, yeah about I I have about 20 pairs of shoes to show you half of them are Jordans and half of them are like miscellaneous brands like New Balance and Nike and all that stuff um so yeah I get these shoes because I work at a shoe store so it's kind of easy for me uh, so yeah I'm just gonna get right into it okay so the first pair of shoes that I want to show you is out the box I don't have a box for these the story of how I got these is just so fucking like stupid but anyways these are the Carmine ones they're in fairly well condition I'm not gonna try these on for you just because I don't have anywhere to like walk and try them on and I don't have all that fucking lighting and shit so here they are so Carmine ones there you go. Our next ones are these New Balance. They're pretty cool. New Balance. Nothing fancy. I just like the neutral colors just because it was fall. And then this reminds me of like one of those uh, like cardboard things that they pin stuff on at school. I don't fucking know. But yeah, it's a pretty decent shoe. I like the neutral colors. New Balance. Next three are just Hirachis, but different colors. I rarely ever wear these anymore just because Hirachi, anything that's not a Hirachi Ultra is kind of uncomfortable. The Hirachi Ultras are way better, way more comfortable, all that shit. So these are the white ones, kind of dirty, because you know, I don't care about these no more. All white Hirachis. Red Hirachis, all red. I wear them unlaced, that's why they look like that. Sorry if I talk in question marks, I get that a lot. And the last one, black one. So it's the same thing, black, white, red, all that shit, basic as fuck, never wear them. Whew, okay. So the next ones are Air Force Ones, I guess we're kind of diving into Nike. Those New Balance were probably the only ones that I have that aren't Nike. So we Air Force Ones, as you can see, they're kind of dirty just because, I mean, I wear my shoes a lot. Um, yeah, they should get clean, but... Wheat Air Force Ones. Woo! Okay. In relation to the Wheat Air Force Ones, I have regular Air Force Ones. The mids, all white. <sighs> That's not a hair. Classics. Stomping in my Air Force Ones. You get the idea. Alright. And another one in relation to Air Force Ones are my Special Forces. Very dirty. Obviously worn a lot. A lot. Um... They look like this, I guess. I don't know. I fucking suck at this. Please, ex oh, please excuse my horrible filming skills. But yeah, we are. I mean, wow. Special forces. Yes, I got the special forces at Nike Town. Um, I literally just stumbled across them. I at first I thought that special force shoe was really ugly like the pictures did not no justice whatsoever I thought it was so ugly. I wasn't even interested and so I saw I went to the Nike store And I saw it on some girl's foot and I was like I need to try those on so I asked them what size they had and they were like Oh, yeah, we only have two sizes. We have a size 5 and we have a size 7 so I'm just like yo It's that's a sign. Let me try it on this size 7. So I did that the fit that I had on must have sold me on it. I don't fucking know. But I tried it on. I liked it. And then my boyfriend at the time, we're not together anymore, but my boyfriend at the time, he bought them for me. It was like $206. And it also came with a bag. Which, coincidentally, I have right here. So, this is what the bag looks like. It's pretty dirty, I guess, because I use it all the time. These are also straps for the shoes. So, but I don't, I don't like using those straps. But anyways, yeah, this is what it looks like. That's the bag that came with it. That's why it was two hundred and six dollars. They're OG. Next shoe. This next shoe ooh, was my first, first, first pair of Jordans. <laughs> Aren't they ugly? Well, I mean, they're not ugly. It's, I mean, I like the nude and black colorway. It's just. I don't fucking know. Do you see me wearing these? Well, yeah, but I don't fucking know. I guess I gotta wear them more, but yeah, first pair of Jordans on the bottom it has like 
the championships or something and also a little bit of dirt so yeah all right now to the good shoes okay so these are one of my most recent purchases i don't cop every shoe that comes out just because i mean i don't need it first of all second of all i don't like every release that comes out and third of all i'm a broke ass bitch so yeah so ah, the 13s i guess they call these the chicago 13s i don't fucking know i thought the chicago 13s were like black white and well duh it's black white and red but um I don't know, I thought this was like black, white, and then like the, the little accent or whatever would be red. Like this would be red or something. I don't know. But it didn't look like this. This, so I think they call these also the cherry 13s. I don't fucking know. But 13s are my favorite, 11s are my favorite, and 1s are like my third favorite if I had to pick a third one. So yeah, 13s. Okay, so next shoe. These little you digs. Future lows. I cop these when I used to work at Finish Line. Nothing special. Barely even wear these anymore. Don't know why, but I like them. Next shoe. Sorry, my hair is like always in the way. So, my next shoe is kind of like a beater. It's it's really not shit. It's just like a basic ass shoe. So, oh, there it is. Uh, all black. One. Retro one. That's it. Obviously, I wear it all the time. It's starting to crease. Pretty dirty. Yep, basic. Okay. Next shoe. Um, this is kind of like the same case as the special forces. I didn't really think they were cute. Uh, I didn't really care for them, nor did I want them. But you know, an opportunity arose where I could get them, so I got them. Here they are. It's the Rihanna uh, Fenty Pumas, fucking uh, creepers in black. So I got these wore them ended up really liking them because they're really comfortable and yeah i i don't regret buying these i think they're really cute and really comfortable okay next shoe another one of my all-time favorites damn near because i wear it so much the black cat 13s i know these look like the altitude 13s just because i mean it looks damn near the same thing, uh, except the altitudes have like a little bit of green in it somewhere. Uh, but these are the Black Cat 13s. These are my favorites of all time. Like, you cannot go wrong with the all black 13. Like, come on. I wear this shit every day. Like, look at the crease that's for me. You can't see it on camera, but it's pretty bad. So, here it is Black Cat 13. It has M3, but you can't see it because I don't have a fucking light. My lighting sucks. Forgive me. Black Cat 13. Alrighty, the next one I always get compliments on. It's typical, like it's 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 a shoe that damn near everybody wants, but not everybody has. Surprisingly, god damn my fucking highlighters. Oh, okay. Let me. Space Jam 13s. Space Jam 13s. Space Jam 13s. 13s. What? I said that like twice. Space Jam 11s. I've been saying 13s in like three other fucking takes. It's it's really annoying. These are 11s. Space Jam 11s. These aren't the OGs because it says the 45 on the back and the OGs say 23. Uh, I forgot what's the story on how he got 45. I think it's when he came back from retirement or somebody sold his jersey or some shit like that. I don't know. But it's, he wore the number 45 for like a fucking, I don't fucking know. So, this is that. Here it is. Space Jam 11s. One of my faves. Woo. Okay. So, I usually save the best for last, even though I did that unintentionally. Whatever. I save the best for last. So, the next ones, these are very limited, I guess? I don't know. It's just, these are very hard to find if you didn't catch them on a release date. Uh, I really like them. Somebody, my ex at the time, got me into them. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the reason why I got them. Also, Travis Scott wears these shoes, and I fucking love Travis Scott. Travis Scott is like my fashion icon, and I fucking love him so much, but anyway. Damn it, I forgot the name of the shoe. The, the bread ones, there you go. So yeah, bread ones. Travis Scott wears these. I fucking love Travis Scott, so I had to get them. Yeah, they're really, uh, I used to think that these would be hard to coordinate just because I try not to wear so many colors. Um, 
But yeah, this is this is that. This is the shoe. Red one. Got it on the release date. Smells like a new shoe. Okay. Speaking of celebrities wearing the shoes that I really like, well, the meaning why the, me ugh, the meaning behind why I got this next shoe, which is pretty similar to the last shoe I just showed you, is because Frank Ocean wears these ones, and I fucking love Frank Ocean. I fucking love Frank Ocean. Like, who doesn't love Frank Ocean? But yeah, these are the royal ones. Same thing, blue and black. Keep getting text messages while I'm filming. Please stop. So, Roy one. Here we go. Frank Ocean wears these. I fucking love Frank Ocean. Uh, I had the red ones. Thought it would be cool to get the blue ones. Sometimes I mix and match and wear one of each if I want to be extra and if I want to be bougie and all that shit. And people don't really like that. They say it looks corny, but I'm just like, I don't care. Anyway, so yeah, here it is. Boop. And yeah. So that concludes my shoe collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's it's not very it's not a very big collection. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty valuable. I try not to spend so much money on shoes just because one I don't have it, two I don't like all the shoes that come out, and I don't want to be a fucking hype beast. Three, I could be putting my money towards better things. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you were wondering what lip color I was wearing today, can't really see it because the lighting sucks. If you were wondering what lip color I was wearing today, give me one second. I'm gonna show you. Okay, if you were wondering what lip color I was wearing today, it's kind of like a brown, brick, orange color. Um, it is by Queen Cosmetics. Let me like focus. I can't focus. But yeah, Queen Cosmetics. It's backwards, anyways. But this is my friend Ribbon's makeup collection. I think it's a really nice color. The formula stays damn near all day and is almost impossible to take off. Um, <clears throat> She's gonna be dropping her line when she hits 10k, so get her to 10k so I can get more fucking liquid lipsticks and highlighters and eyebrow pomades and all that shit because I've been fucking waiting for like years, bro, so can we please get her to 10k? I'll put all her info and her makeup line in the description box so we can help her out, but yeah, this is that color. It's so cute. <laughs> Let's me glow. If you were wondering who was singing in the video. I'll also put his info in the description box. I think this is coming out backwards. I am so sorry, but yeah. His name is Kenny V. His at names and stuff are who is Kenny V on on Instagram and stuff like that. Yep. There it is. Go follow Ribbons and her makeup line. It's called Queen Cosmetics and follow who is Kenny V on Instagram. Let's just all support each other. Thank you. Until next time. For my next video, I'm going to be doing a hair video. Uh, you can't see it right now, but my hair is pretty long now. I'm going to be doing a video on my hair journey. So basically, from the time I cut it really short to like a really short pixie cut to the... You can hear my dog, sorry. So... So yeah, I'm basically going to be doing a video from the time I cut it really short back in 2013 to a damn near pixie cut to the link that it is now, which I'm not going to show you because that's what the video is for. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. Do all that shit, all that shit. Um, so yeah, thanks. So yeah, thanks. Sorry for the awkward outro. Bye.